Canelo's too smart. I think Canelo starts breaking him down. I think Canelo should win by knockout. Edgar's a good fighter, and he'll come to fight. Berlant. Canelo Alvarez is known for being too smart in the ring, and many believe that's exactly what will help him win against Edgar Berlanga. Renowned boxing trainer Robert Garcia shared his thoughts, stating that Canelo will start breaking Berlanga down early on and should win by knockout. Despite Berlanga being a good fighter who will bring a competitive fight, most experts agree that he lacks the experience necessary to defeat a boxer of Canelo's caliber. Berlanga is expected to put up a better fight than people expect. But the general consensus is that Canelo's ring intelligence will outmatch him. Terence Crawford, one of the top fighters in the world, also weighed in on the upcoming showdown between Canelo Alvarez and Edgar Berlanga. Crawford, during an interview, said he believes Canelo will stop Berlanga. Crawford acknowledged that Berlanga has potential to be a great champion in the future, but he feels that right now Canelo is simply too much for him. If Canelo handles Berlanga, it could set the stage for a possible clash between Canelo and Crawford, who has been eyeing a move up in weight to challenge Canelo. Confident in his abilities, Crawford emphasized that skills are what matter most, and he believes he has what it takes to defeat Canelo. As the fight approaches, the buzz around the matchup is intensifying. Can Edgar Berlanga pull off the impossible and defeat Canelo Alvarez? The two fighters are set to face off at the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas this Saturday night, with Canelo defending his unified titles. This fight is highly anticipated by the boxing community, with many discussions and predictions circulating about what the outcome will be. Even though there's talk of Canelo's future matchups with fighters like David Benavidez and Terence Crawford, the spotlight right now is firmly on the Alvarez vs. Berlanga showdown. Edgar Berlanga, the undefeated Brooklyn native, has built a reputation in the super middleweight division, but the question remains, is it enough to challenge Canelo Alvarez, one of boxing's most iconic figures? Some experts believe that Berlanga has a chance, while others think he's not quite ready for this level of competition. Paul Smith Jr., former British super middleweight champion, expressed doubts about Berlanga's ability to handle Canelo, citing the Mexican champion's vast experience and tactical sharpness. In Smith's view, Berlanga's approach is too predictable, which would allow Canelo to easily read and counter his moves. Teddy Atlas, a respected boxing analyst, also acknowledged Berlanga's skill but he questioned whether Berlanga is truly ready to take on the formidable challenge that Canelo represents. Former pro boxer and trainer David Coldwell echoed these sentiments, stating that while Berlanga is a talented fighter, he's not yet at the level required to beat someone like Canelo. Coldwell added that it would be a massive shock if Berlanga were to hand Canelo his third career defeat. Despite the odds being stacked against him, there are those who believe that Berlanga should not be underestimated. Known as the Chosen One, Berlanga has secured 16 consecutive early stoppages in his career, earning a reputation for his knockout power. But the key question is whether his relentless offense can break through Canelo's rock-solid defense. Canelo, known for his punishing body shots and devastating left hook, has shown time and again that he thrives in close-range exchanges. Berlanga has experienced defeat before, as seen in his bout against Marcelo Esteban Cucheras, which adds another layer of uncertainty to this matchup. As the fight draws near, promoter Eddie Hearn has described Berlanga's upcoming bout with Canelo as an opportunity too good to pass up. Hearn believes Berlanga has what it takes to make the most of his mandatory shot at Canelo's titles. You never know if you're ready for a fighter like Canelo until you get in there, Hearn said, emphasizing that Berlanga's heart and belief in himself will be key factors. The fight, which takes place on Mexico's Independence Day, pits Mexico against Puerto Rico, adding even more significance to the matchup. Berlanga solidified his status as a contender with a knockout victory over Ireland's Padraig McCrory earlier this year, 
which earned him the WBA mandatory challenger spot at 168 pounds. However, potential bouts with Jaime Munguia and Christian Mabili didn't materialize, and Canelo ultimately chose Berlanga as his opponent for the September 14th fight. With both fighters exchanging words leading up to the fight, the tension between them has only increased. Several other fighters have shared their predictions, including Caleb Plant, who sees little chance for Berlanga to upset Canelo. Plant, a former super middleweight champion who lost to Canelo in 2021, believes Canelo's experience and skill set are too much for Berlanga to handle. Canelo will go out there and do his thing, Plant said. Berlanga doesn't have the boxing skills, IQ, or chin to compete with Canelo. However, Plant added that if Berlanga proves everyone wrong, he will earn his respect. Roy Jones Jr., a legendary figure in boxing, offered some advice to Berlanga, stressing the importance of being aggressive and putting Canelo on the defensive early in the fight. Jones believes that if Berlanga can hurt Canelo, he has a chance to win. If Berlanga can land some hard punches early on, he could force Canelo to respect his power and adjust his strategy, Jones said. However, he also warned that if Berlanga fails to do this, the fight could end quickly in Canelo's favor. Bernard Hopkins, another former world champion, has also weighed in on the fight, predicting that Canelo will win by stoppage. Canelo gets the knockout within six or seven rounds, Hopkins said confidently. He acknowledged that anything can happen in boxing, but he firmly believes that Canelo is too strong for Berlanga. In contrast, Oscar De La Hoya, Canelo's former promoter, has taken a different stance. De La Hoya has been vocal about his disdain for the fight, even going so far as to say that he won't bother watching it. Instead, De La Hoya plans to attend a UFC event happening the same night, calling the Canelo vs. Berlanga fight a snooze fest and criticizing the high cost of the pay-per-view. Despite the criticism from De La Hoya, Berlanga remains focused on the task at hand. He's confident that he can outsmart Canelo and has made it clear that he's prepared to fight with everything he's got. Canelo is overlooking me, Berlanga said in a recent interview. He thinks it's going to be an easy fight, but he's going to walk into a brick wall. I'm ready to prove everyone wrong. In preparation for the fight, Berlanga relocated his training camp to the high-altitude environment of Boulder, Colorado, hoping to gain a competitive edge. Inspired by Canelo's own decision to train at high altitudes before his fight with Dimitri Bivol, Berlanga believes the change in scenery will sharpen his mental and physical preparation. When God wants you to elevate in life, he isolates you, Berlanga said, explaining his decision to train in the wilderness. He added that the key to victory lies in outsmarting Canelo and breaking him down mentally, not just physically. Canelo, meanwhile, remains as confident as ever. He's eager to teach Berlanga a lesson in the ring, stating that he enjoys breaking down fighters who talk a lot of trash. I like them confident. I like breaking their face when they play like that, Canelo said. He's determined to make this fight another dominant performance in his illustrious career. While Berlanga has knocked out 16 opponents in his career, 